So let us start our centangle with the string. For that, we'll start with four dots. I'm creating it in a very light with my pencil. Just that I can see. And I'll rotate my dial thereafter. I just want you to add lines connecting these dots. The line can be a bit crooked if you want. Or you can make it as straightish. And we'll use a very simple string today. Just a curve. And a curve here. It's, it's spelled as G O L. D H A N and it starts like a small arc okay with two rows of arc over here and I again go back and repeat the same arc so this is the first curve and then here goes my second once again I create an inverted one just going one behind the other so you can see that I'm not crossing these lines I'm just going one behind the other and connecting it here okay once again what I do is I start from this point again create a curve or like a arch and then back one and once again we do it the inverted side like this and again we go back and print it so it really doesn't matter if you have a long one or a short one you can create even a larger than me like a bigger size of gold then So now what I do is I just ink the center one like this because I have a small one I can just simply put ink into the center one. You don't have to press down with your pen you can be very gentle and the ink will flow easily. It often happens that when we are concentrating we try to put a lot of pressure but in centangle we want to do it more easily so we we'll do it once again over here and just complete it pattern and I'm going to just follow along this grid okay it really doesn't matter but it's not 
two straight and now create a grid like this if you are comfortable you can start the grid from the center so now what I do is I create an X on each of this grid you can see I'm just going along with the flow in the same direction here again I go in the same direction So now what I do is I create small diamond shapes okay so first let me just create these diamonds in the center and then I'll fill it with ink Once again, I do the same thing over the other side. So this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. Just take time, fill it nicely with the pen. You can feel. Now what I do is I create a curve okay once again I create a curve just turn your tile and slow down I find this candle quite similar to the Zonk as well. Just wait. Change the whole tangle now into differently. See how fun and beautiful it looks.
okay so now you can do some nice tricks okay so what we can do is I'll try to create some lines you can just watch me okay how I create lines just in the same strokes now on this side And here the two. I'm just imagining. No, I think I did wrong one. This part is the white one. Okay. Ah, uh, no problem. So yeah, here I think I can do that. And here I can do. So I'm gonna do the same tangle over here but a slightly larger one. Okay. Right. And an X goes Needs in the corner. Once again, the line is coming from that end. Here, once again. So now I'm going to create those diamonds but instead of diamond I'm going to create a leaf like shape or a seed like shape. So first I'll create in all the four sides in the center.
okay here it is so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply darken this seed like shape just in the center Once again, going to darken. The center. Just imagining the center is here. Okay. So the next tangle that we are looking into is tangle a piece. Okay, and um, let us appease our soul with this beautiful tangle. And how we can do that is, I'm gonna create a nice large squarish. Okay, just a simple square. Create a curvy square. So what I'm saying is a small one along with my pen. A C curve like shape right in the center. So our center ish. You can say it doesn't have to be in a center, but slightly a bit center ish. Okay. Right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pen until this pencil border. I'm going to create a spiral. Okay. Let us do that in the same stroke. Spiral. So I'm creating a bit elongated spiral. If it doesn't come like that, that's okay. So now what I do is I do the same thing in the opposite direction just connect it and close it can we do that you can leave a gap or maybe you can join it it's up to you just
beautiful it is isn't it so fun so let us now do something in the center okay i'm going to create a fifth uh, probably just a five or a seed like shape okay going in different directions doesn't matter which direction we want to take it i'll just put this one here okay so now in this section we can create auras just small auras like this just whatever shape it goes doesn't really matter little designs like this is more fun okay so now i'm gonna ink this section where i have put the seeds Okay, so this is the middle section of the tangle up piece. Okay, this is the starting point over here. Just one step at a time. We draw the aura. this section so i'm going to ink the small sections that we created So now let us start with um, shading and for for shading I'll just create some keep your pencil a uh, nicely sharp for this so this like really pointy and nice
me just put my initials so we get triangles a piece gold ham gold ham or gold ham just check it okay and uh, tangle is so this is January 2021 Thank you so much for joining me in this class and uh, do post your completed artwork on the Facebook group Tangle and Inspire Club and I would love to see what you guys played along with me. Thank you guys. See you. Ta-ta. Bye-bye.